feel like I've been here before, but I just can't remember. just a dream i thought i was really falling and uh, it, it's starting to fade away what not again i thought i took care of you why do these spiders keep coming again and again and like ah uh, that's a way to wake up and the cave looks clear so you didn't come from there right it's about time i get to work anyway so let's get to it Alright, I got plenty of wheat now and a few leads. Ethically sourced, of course. Okay, so that's done. And now I have a few more errands to do. And I'm going to start with planting some sugarcane because last time we found a saddle and I thought this is the perfect occasion to buy myself a horse. And horses do like sugar, so there's that. I'm also going to plant some bamboo so that I can use it later for scaffolding. And of course, I cannot forget to tan my garden, so... I was also thinking that the farm is going to probably need a better ecosystem and luckily there is a beehive right over here so i think i need to place a campfire below it so that the smoke makes the bees less aggressive i hope it works i will also pick some flowers and i'll make a new pair of shears and now all that's left is to shear the bee wax oh well in the town on I'm going to need a little bit more of acacia wood for the trapdoors that I'm going to use to decorate the beehive. So this should be a little bit safer for the bees because they won't be able to fly into the fire anymore. So it's been a couple of days and I built another beehive, but then I noticed that there's only one bee flying around and I think it might have to do with the design that I chose. So let's see. Oh yeah. So I guess now I'm going to fix the beehives and put the trapdoor a little bit higher on each side. Okay, and that's done. So let's go back. Why is this bee just flying around? At night. I mean, I just fixed it. You can you can go home now. Hello? Are you coming back? I guess you're not. Hmm. Strange. Seems like the bamboo is ready to be harvested. So I'd say it's time for some bamboo ASMR. That was so satisfying. Okay, so despite the strange event that happened last night, I guess the bee finally found her way home and everything looks quite all right here. So I'm thinking I'm just going to build more beehives then. And actually a composter would be a great addition to the farm because now I can get rid of all of these ugly dandelions and then use the bone meal to make flowers that are actually pretty. Oh yes, this is so much better. And just like that, everything was back to normal. Or at least that's what I thought. No matter how many times I'm going to breed them, I'm always amazed at how cute the babies are. Oh, and meanwhile there was this floating dirt pillar. I was getting too annoyed, I had to get rid of it. All right, so I'm thinking it's time to extend the farm a little bit and maybe decorate this area a little bit more with a well. We'll see. I'm going to add some fences, a few torches. Nice. So yeah, this space is going to be perfect for the well, actually. I think I'm just going to switch up the floor a little bit to make it look like it used to be a part of an older structure. So how about stone bricks? Oh yes, this looks good. Now I'll add a few walls, some water, 
some fences to decorate it, a very quick and simple roof, a chain, and whatever this is supposed to be. And it's all done. It looks so beautiful. It really adds to the house. So now all that's left is to connect the path from the house all the way to the beehive area. And while we're at it, I'm going to just add a few more fences as well as a few more torches to light it all up. I added some moss and now everything looks so beautiful. But now that I think of it, I actually didn't see any bees for quite some time and it looks like there's no honey either. Huh. Is this maybe the trapdoor thing again? No. I was breeding these bees for a whole day and there's none. I hope they didn't fly into the fire. I really don't understand what's going on. I had so many questions, but I felt like I just have to keep going and everything will go back to normal, as always. I've been growing these acacia trees behind my house for a while now and, well, it doesn't look that great, not to mention the bamboo. So I was thinking it would be a great idea to build an orchard right around here so that I can have a more aesthetically pleasing area to chop my trees. But first, let me get some sleep. Okay, and I'm going to start with some terraforming. Oh, this is going to be so relaxing. Okay, looking good, looking good. And now just a few torches to prevent any mob spawns. Wait a second, is that one of my bees? Where is she going? This is so weird. Well, anyway, I'm going to need saplings and I'm just glad the weather is nice. Oh, you know what? It's actually kind of cozy, so I'll just keep working. And my plan for the orchard is pretty simple. I'm just going to dig up a few blocks like this and then replace them with oak logs. And then just a sapling in the middle. Then a three block gap. And I'll just continue this pattern and yeah, keep planting saplings. So now, while designing every new path, I just want to keep in mind that I want it to be horse-friendly. So I'm going to make it nice and white. Oh yeah, this looks nice! To really make it look like an orchard and not just a regular forest, I had this idea to build some custom fruit trees. And this design is going to be very similar to the cherry tree that I built earlier, but I am swapping the leaves for both flowering and regular azalea leaves in order to make it look more like flowering fruit trees. Actually, adding a few cherry trees could look great too, so let's try that. This is so nice, it's really starting to come together. The orchard is officially finished. Well, at least for now, so let me show you around. So here is the little storage area. And over here, I built a little wood shed and I'm super proud of this design. And of course, I placed a composter over here to quickly recycle saplings into bone meal. Later on, I think I'm going to extend the road over there so that we can have a nice little bridge that is going to lead to some other farms. And as you can see, there's some more terraforming to be done. But first things first, let me just add a few more details. Perfect, so now we can move on to the next project. And this is so exciting because I'm finally going to build a stable for my future horse. And for that, I'm going to need lots of materials, but of course, the first step is always the terraforming. Wow, look at all the space, this is going to be amazing. But first, I'm going to pull an all-nighter to chop enough wood for the project. Okay, that was supposed to be a peaceful chopping session, but I found this zombie villager and let's just say the things are not looking that great, okay? 
Oh, no, 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 no. Please leave me alone. No, no, no. Ah, no. No. Retreat. I gotta go hide in the house. Can I go upstairs? Is he coming? I was so close. Okay, now I gotta go back for the zombie villager. Oh my gosh, <gasps> there's another one! No, 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 oh, no, 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 Oh, okay. H hello, sir. <laughs> could you, could you follow me to my basement? <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> yes, let's go, let's go. Okay, now, uh, can I craft a boat uh, before he comes and kills me? <laughs> don't, don't, don't come, don't come. <laughs> Ah, okay. Oh, ah, oh. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> that was so stressful. Okay, we've got a new day and I have most of the materials, but I realized I'm also going to need one more thing. And it has to be somewhere here. Yes, okay. So what I need for the project is the brown stained glass. And to actually get that, I'm going to need a few more cocoa beans. So let's plant them. And let's gather them. And I think that's it. So yeah, I'm just going to start building. Oh, stop. Can't believe I live in your thoughts. I think about you all the time. Morning, evening, and midnight. Such a wonderful delight. Alright, so the basic structure is done and now it's time to decorate. Beautiful. This is such an open structure that I actually think that the windows don't really make much sense here. So, is it necessary? No. But does it look good? Yes, if I do say so myself. As I really want my future horse to feel at home, I have to provide all the necessary supplies such as hay and water. And out of all of the designs that I tested, this one is 100% escape proof. And I really like how it looks like from the other side as well. It will make it very easy to restock the water. Inside I'm just going to place a crafting table, a few barrels, some shelves and some hangers for all the horse riding equipment. Okay, I finally finished both the interior and the exterior, so let me show you around. I actually went ahead and extended the orchard to connect these structures and make it more seamless. I added a few more fruit trees as you can see, and I really love how the trees tied it all together. I added a lot of shrubbery, vines, leaves, and apparently I forgot to put flowers in the planters, but I'll fix it later, don't worry. So as I want everything to look like a part of one bigger project, I also took my time to work on this little flower garden in front of my house. And mind you, these lanterns did cost me a fortune. I also thought if the bees were ever to come back, it would be nice to add a few more cherry trees, make it more cozy for them, but oh well. These past few days were super busy, but there is nothing more rewarding than looking at all your completed projects during the sunrise. And I love how everything is visible right when I exit my house. Hmm, didn't notice any bees, but I can see that there is some honey to be harvested, which is very weird. Anyway, with everything completed, it is finally time for me to go and look for the horse. This is so exciting, it's been a while since I went on an adventure. Hmm, it is looking quite foggy today, but this mountain looks so cool. Oh, can you hear that? I think that's... yeah, that's a waterfall. I definitely have to come back here later. It feels so nice to be surrounded by nature again. It's just so peaceful. Hmm, is it just me or the deeper I go? the thicker the fog gets. I mean, it's getting to a point where I cannot really see that much. I just hope I won't get lost.
Okay, I am definitely lost. It has been a while and... <gasps> this is the perfect horse. Hello, horse. Don't be scared. I want to be friends. I built a nice home for you. Hopefully. Okay. I think you're not scared, right? May I? Okay. Hm. Let's try again. Oh, right, I forgot I have sugar. Okay, I got it, I got it. Uh... Horse? Where did you go? Uh... Why? <laughs> it was a second. Come on. Where did... Was that... Barking?